Uh, I think to me, at the, towards, uh, at the conclusion of the discussion, that's number one. Something was raised, which I'm really struggling with, uh, that uh, on children's rights. The, an example would be when the children get raped, like the one that was gang raped, the story was all over. Uh, so it was not seen as inappropriate. It was seen as forfeiting the, the integrity and dignity of the children uh, because she's black and, and, and poor. Uh, maybe the media could have really asked f uh, for a permission uh, to go in and publish the story. And also on the issue of, of, of racism, um, I haven't seen uh, City Press, but I just heard that I mean they've they've got the names uh, of the people that were killed at, at Marikana. They've been able to bring this uh, agency that these are the human. It's not only about the numbers. I think uh, what we have seen as the matter was was reported. It was all about the numbers. This number of people have been killed, which I think was really I was not comfortable. I think it was really ridiculous. What I would have liked to have seen more of, um, and I, I guess that's, you know, this was kind of focused around how the media represents these issues, but I would have liked to have seen more of what can we do about it to fix it. You know, because I'm familiar with these problems, and it's not just about children, it's about race as well, as you mentioned, it's about gender, it's about poverty, and there's... I need more of a solutions-based response than just more analysis of what's happening because I think we can all agree as media people that we know this is a problem, but we need responses. We need to know what we're going to do now. So how do we empower kids? You know, how do we work with kids to empower them around these issues and to protect their rights? What, um, you know, I need more of that kind of discussion to come to the table. And that's why when we have this collection of individuals who work in all these different spaces, and you know, civil society members, activists, journalists, government members, we need to use it to its fullest by exchanging knowledge in this way. The facts that we heard presented here were not surprising. We, we knew these things. They are horrifying statistics and figures and all things like that. It's, it's terrible that we live in such a circumstance, but nobody here was terribly surprised. So, yes, what we need to do is find out, okay, so this is a terrible situation, what are we doing about it?